Okay, so I want to give a little apology to the J team because my last video about uh, the plug having the uh, gasket maker around it turned out not to be true. So always want to be transparent about that. Evidently, they put tamper seal on their plugs now. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that works for them because if you've got a plug that's backed out, the tamper seal is broken anyway. Um, I think it's also kind of a sad statement on uh, the state of affairs today that somebody would actually tamper with their own plug just to get a new engine in their car. I don't know. I'm 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 a little I'm a little foggy about that, and I'm a little foggy about how the tamper seal actually helps them in case of. Um, causing damage to somebody's vehicle. I still stand by the fact that I paid like $120 for an oil change on my truck and I was told that it was a normal price no matter what because even though I brought my own oil because they still had the manpower to do and it paid for the labor and the disposal of the oil, okay? I can almost let that slide, but I can't let slide the service that I paid for and the fact that the transmission fluid wasn't checked and I had to ask them to do that and the fact that they never checked the air filter which they're supposed to do as well, but this is an apology. J team, I'm sorry. You didn't do something wrong with my oil plug, um, with my drain plug. And I appreciate the fact that there were enough people on my last video to comment and let me know that that is exactly what they do now. Uh, I have nothing but fond memories of working for the J team when I was in high school. That was a, a great job for a young man learning about cars. So there you have it. J team, I'm sorry. Um, just make sure you're checking transmission fluid and air filters. Okay, so I was about to go ahead and upload this video and then I remember there were a couple of things that I did want to comment on um, and they were comments on, on my previous video. So again, J team, got respect for you. I know what it takes to do that job. So I don't feel bad commenting on it. And again, sorry about the uh, mis misunderstanding about the tamper seal on the plug. But I did have a couple people comment um, some things on the video that I just want to make sure you understand that if you watch the video and you're actually listening to it with the intent to understand you don't need to comment why are you going to Jiffy Lube to get your oil changed when you can obviously do it yourself because the very first thing I said in the video was I went because I ran out of time and I was going on a road trip. I needed to get it done in a hurry. Number two, I had somebody comment that you should never change the transmission fluid and filter in your transmission and that is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. Every manufacturer has a suggested mileage to change your fluids in the transmission and the filter and as a matter of fact, I did that and I have a video on it. Uh, on my Chevy uh, Silverado 1500. So my, my recommended mileage was 50,000 miles. So anyway, thank you very much for the comments. I appreciate it. Uh, if you could give a thumbs up and subscribe, thank you.